is Hamza Rashad and you're watching the No Added Sugar Show on Digital Star Media. Brrrr! Yeah. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had to do the yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey! Come here, Tamu! Wait! Stop! No! Come on, man. You seem like a nice guy. <laughs> so, for those that know, who's Hamza? Well, um, I'm a comedian slash actor. And wearing a wire. And the police and everything. Yeah, you're gonna be here any minute. Yeah! What are we gonna do, boys? Um, I started off on YouTube. Um, I did a sitcom called Diary of Bad Man. And uh, yeah, like, um, started about three or four years ago. And since then, everything's just changed. And um, yeah, I, I, I've just pursued my my career and things have gone really well. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Um, would you say you've always been a funny guy, or did you come into it all? Yeah, no, I was always funny. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm just an ordinary white man having a jolly good time with his missus. <laughs> love ya. Bloody love ya. <laughs> I, I, I was too funny. Like, I was gonna quit because I was that funny. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, no, I think I, I'll, to be honest, I'm not really good at many things. What's going on? I'm not, I'm not really uh, good at many things. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty shit at a lot of things, actually. Charity is wrong. Don't ever give money to charity. No. no. Don't touch my big knob again, bro. And uh, the only thing that I was actually good at was making a fool out of myself. If you want to really join our crew, I have to get topless. You? I'll do it. Can, can you? Don't, I mean, let him don't finish ever, his sentence, okay. In your life, don't ever interrupt me because I can slap you and you can just die. When I was a little kid, I used to yeah. uh, show my bum uh, a, a lot to uh, you know get a cheap laugh here and there. Yeah. Uh, but then I, I thought, you know what, I could be more mature. I could you know, do something a bit more grown up. So about a week ago, I stopped doing that and just start relying <laughs> on jokes and stuff. And it's, yeah. Yeah, it's been all right. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Um, so before Diamond Batman, mm. have you always been involved in comedy? Yeah, like um, basically, as soon as I finished, um, my uh, uh, I, I used to do GCSE drama, mm -hmm. and basically my drama teacher, she was on crack, mm -hmm. like literally she was on crack, she used to sniff a lot, we knew she was on crack, and she never used to turn up, so it was hard kind of like, you know, being in a lesson without a teacher, it doesn't yeah. help. Um, and then after that, I went to a, uh, yeah, you got that now. Um, it's interesting. Yeah, it was, it was interesting, and then, uh, you know, I mean, she had to do what she had to do, and then afterwards I went to Croydon College and I did performing arts. I did a GMBQ mm. in performing arts, and then I went to Kingston College and I did a BTEC National Diploma for two years mm. in performing arts. And then I went to drama school, RDS. Mm. Uh, one of my teachers was actually, you know, Tom Hardy, yeah. uh, the guy who played Bane in uh, Batman. Yeah. Yeah. So he was my teacher. No, yeah. Was that's he, so cool. He used to go to dr uh, Richmond Drama School yeah. as well, and uh, when he blew up, when he got big. No one cared who I was till I put on the mask. Um, he kind of came back to his drama school to teach us about Hollywood and camera work and stuff. No way, how's yeah. that? Yeah, he was crazy, man. He was, uh, he's a, he was very intelligent and he was a great person to, to work with and uh, to feed off. How does he talk about that? Um, does he sound like very no, high something like that? Man. Yeah, no, he's all right. He's he's cool, man. He's, he's sad. He doesn't he doesn't speak like that. No, he doesn't. Yeah, yeah that, that would be messed up. I don't. Yeah. No one would learn nothing with that. Victory has defeated you. Yeah. Yeah, but um, no, he was he was a really cool guy. Yeah. Really, really cool guy. Well spoken and very intelligent. Yeah. Okay. So since you went to school for drama, do you think that's helped with your success with um, your series? I think that you know, it's kind of weird because it's like. I always had that kind of belief without sounding too big headed that, you know, yeah, I was funny. Mm. But there's one thing to be funny, but there's one thing to, how should I say, like um, act, you yeah. know? And, and like, execute it. Exactly, so yeah. To receive it the right way. Yeah, so you can, have a, you can have a natural talent, but you need to nurture it and you need to. I just wanted to learn, to be honest. It's like football, like, you know, you may be a, a good player, but there's a lot of things that you can work on. Yes, yeah, you know, uh, and that's what I wanted to do. And, you know, for me to spend four or five years um, learning performing arts, I didn't, I didn't do it for the, the degree at the end. You know, like I, I got a degree in it and I, I, I lost it. Like I, I don't care about it. I just wanted to learn and, to learn. and yeah, and just to basically like I was just practicing and just you know, um, yeah, growing uh, my talents and um, learning new things. Yeah, I mean, that's the, I think that's a great thing. That's what great people are made of. Still, mm. Denzel Washington. Yeah, yeah I'm like him. Still gets, like, um, yeah. He still gets acting classes. Yeah. yeah, I didn't even know that. Yeah, can you please see? Wow. Like, that's what the greats yeah. are made of. Like, if yeah. you're about learning your part and... Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. Learning your skill. I'm not there yet, the Denzel Washington. Oh yeah, but you get there. I'll get there, Obviously. yeah. Obviously. 
years. Every year's time, maybe, yeah. yeah. So what, inspired your, um, what inspired you to create your character? Um, and create your series, like where did it come from, like when was the last bulb switch? You know what, I've, I've been asked that a few times, but I don't even know, it just happened. Really? Yeah, it just happened, like, I guess like I was brought up in South London, mm -hmm. and um, you get a lot of kind of like Asian boys trying to be black, yeah. trying to be bad, <laughs> but I would know their mums and they know how they'll get bossed up by yeah. their mums and stuff, so, so they're not really, yeah, they're, so, yeah they're, they're not really bad, but they, you know, I just saw people who tried to be someone they're not, yeah. and I think I kind of, got the idea and kind of developed it in a, you know, I, I, I kind of played like an over-exaggerated stereotype of like yeah. a, a kind of Asian gangster wannabe um, who tries to be black and um, yeah, it just, I was very lucky and fortunate that it worked and people yeah. find it funny. And funny. So you've yeah. obviously been very successful with it, like where do you plan to take it? What's the next? <sighs> I want to be the king of the world soon, one day. Um, How you going to do that? Um, I don't know man, sign some few papers, I don't know, lad. <laughs> I don't know how you do that, but I don't know, like, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been crazy, I've been very fortunate, like, when I made Diary of a Bad Man, like, mm -hmm. my, um, kind of, like, my aim was to get, like, some one person's attention, like an agent or a, you know, a casting director or, mm -hmm. you know, someone who could point me to the right direction. I never yeah. knew it actually would get me a, a, a fan base, like, you know, fans around the world, and that just shows how powerful YouTube is and the internet, and um, when I had all these fans and all these people watching my videos, it kind of allowed me to do things that I thought would take longer to do. So, you know, now I'm trying to get into mainstream and, and yeah. onto TV and uh, stand up comedy as well yeah. uh, and films hopefully in the future. So, yeah, like I think that I'm very, very, very lucky and fortunate of the success of Diary of a Badman because it's put me in a platform where I can kind of do what I want now. So yeah, it's kind of so cool. you have the freedom, especially creative person, you can do what you want now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, you do stand up as well, yeah, and you do sketches, yeah. Like, do you have a preference or not doing them both? Both is all natural. Well, it's kind of hard because it's like I love doing stuff like in front of camera. I love yeah. it. Um, um, I think that's what I started off in. But mm. I realised that standing up, making jokes, and getting paid for it, yeah, like that's kind of easy for me. Like, really? you know, yeah, I mean, I prefer sitting down, mm. but obviously <laughs> stand up in it. So you've got to stand up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like I think that, I mean, I, I love doing camera work, but I think with stand-up comedy, the best thing about it is when you're, when you say a joke, yeah, uh, you know, it's nothing scripted, like anything yeah. can happen, you feed off the audience and the energy is, you can't compare to, to film, because when you're in front of an audience, yeah. you know, four, five, six, seven hundred thousand people, and you make a joke, and you, you get that, that hype, that vibe, nothing beats yeah. that, you know, so um, yeah. I love both in different ways. Okay, I yeah. can imagine it's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah. Right, yeah. Um, do you feel any pressure to be funny in normal dating situations? Like when you meet someone, just normally, they mm. expect you to be funny, do you feel the pressure? Not really. No, really? I, I just try to be myself. I think the only thing that I think when people turn around and they're like, oh, you're that funny guy, you're that funny guy, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, make me laugh, you know, make a joke. And I'm like, okay, that's kind of like, then I feel a bit of pressure because yeah, I'm yeah. like, what am I going to say? So, I don't even yeah. know who you are, like, you know? Um, so yeah, sometimes I think that, you know, people do have their kind of, uh, obviously, a, a perception about you and they want to straight away, um, you know, you want they want you to straight away make them laugh and stuff. So yeah. I guess in that way, but because I'm an idiot anyway, 24-7. Yeah. You're thinking what I'm thinking, right? Three. You're going to do it. One, two. See you later, mate! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Give up! You leave Open the... Yeah, being an idiot is natural, so... I just... I just oh, yeah. Embrace it. I embrace it, yeah. Should. So, yeah. Um, what comedians inspire you? Um, you know what? I mean, I, I think that when you talk about stand-up comedy, I think that when you look at the, the talent, uh, that the UK has to bring, like with Lee Evans and McIntyre yeah. and you know people like that. I mean, there's so much talent in the UK; it's unbelievable. Yeah. But for me personally, even though I love the UK stand-ups, I love um, American comedy. Yeah, you know, I love it. I love the whole. It's it's kind of more out there and it's it's more it's outrageous. And, yeah. yeah, and like um, you know, like I grew up like. Practically everyone that I know, we all grew up on Death Comedy Jam. Yeah, uh, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. So like, um, 
you know, and, and people like uh, Dave Chappelle, um, Kevin Hart right now, I think. Oh, is, yeah. You know, big. Yeah, you know, Russell Peters and Chris Rock and Eddie Murphy. I think these are the people that, you know, I look, look up to. Look up think, to. Yeah. So who are your five, like, top comedians? You know, I don't, I can't, you have. I can't really answer that, but apart from me, because obviously I'm so sick of it, um, I would say that, you know, Dave Chappelle, Eddie Murphy, Kevin Hart, uh, Chris Rock, uh, Russell Peters, they're the ones that come straight back. Okay. Um, what's your favourite Russell Peters stand up? Ooh, I don't know. I, I like the one, you know, I, really don't know. I, I don't know because I've seen so many. Yeah, yeah, me too. I, I think all of them are funny in their own ways. I love the one when he's like, you know, somebody gonna yeah, get yeah, hurt, you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to tell who, but somebody gonna get <laughs> yeah, hurt. Yeah, that's what I'm Yeah, yeah so. What about Eddie Murphy? Eddie Murphy, I mean, raw. I mean, yeah, I always say that, because that's the classic. Yeah, that's the And Chris Rock? Chris Rock, ah. Oh, I, don't, I, I don't know, like, Chris Rock, I can't remember what it was called, but a few years Tell back he did a... Call the Messenger, don't call the Messenger. I think it was that one, mm -hmm. yeah. But I think Chris Rock's very, um, all of his stuff is on point. It you know? is, they, yeah. It's all up at a certain level. Because yeah, he takes so time to, in between his like specials. And yeah. Short special yeah, 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 yeah. But he's great. I mean, as I said, they're all brilliant in their yeah. own ways. You know, there's so much talent out there. So, um, yeah. Okay. What's the funniest joke you've heard? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. You can't. That's dumb. That's like. That, that's me asking you. What's the best best meal you've ever had? I could think about that. Yeah, go on then. Um, the chops that you had before, yeah, <laughs> before this interview. They were pretty nice. Yeah, you they munched them nice. serious. You ate yeah, the bones yeah. and everything. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, you had the you plate. Have to, you had to get you in. the plate as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're gonna get billed for that. Like you didn't come back part of the meal, but it's yeah, cool. I know. But plates you know. are nice. Plates are nice. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of seasoning. Yeah, but you have to chew the bone because otherwise you get all the flavor. Of course, of yeah. course. Yeah. Yeah, but you can answer it. Like what? Made you laugh so hard that you peed your pants. I don't know because I'm around comedy all the time. It's yeah. like you know you have to understand. Like even when I was making my videos, I mean every day, even filming, even you know behind the scenes, there were just so many jokes that yeah. would just come out. Like you know, and I like to improvise a lot. So you know, even when I go to you know with my own material, there's a lot of jokes that I might make that I find so funny and that like I just forget. Then. Yeah, so yeah, I like that. yeah, it's one of those ones. But I can't really say one joke that. Uh, that made you laugh so hard. Like yeah. No. So, in terms of your career, like yeah. what do we expect? To, what should we expect to see from you in 2014? Well, 2014 is a big year for me. Mm -hmm. um, basically, what I'm hoping to do is um, I've, uh, I'm making three shows as we speak. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, the first one is Diary of a Bad Man, the sitcom has finished now. It's, uh, you know, I want to leave it as its legacy. Yeah. You know, and um, I want to leave it leave as that. At the top. Yeah, exactly. You know. Um, um, but I'm starting Diary of a Bad Man blogs. So basically, every couple of weeks, there'll be me just on the chair, just making jokes. Yeah. Kind of like stand-up comedy, but sitting down in it. Yeah, so yeah. See where what I went with that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What makes you tick? What makes me tick? Mm, what makes you, what gets you going? You know what? I think that since I was young, I think one thing about me is the reason why I do comedy is because I genuinely love it. Like. A lot of people obviously do it as a career because they want to, you know, make money and provide for their family, and I do. But I do it also because I love it, and I believe that, you know, when you're working, and you have to realize you're working more than half your life. So yeah. if I had to work, I wanted to do something that I enjoy. And one thing that I enjoy more than anything is to make people smile. I don't know why, it just it's in me. If, I, if I'm even with friends or family, I have to be that one to make that joke yeah, that makes everyone that's laugh. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah. love that. So I think that, you know, that's what make me that's what makes me tick mm. to make people laugh and smile. I like that. You know, because you have to think like in life, like, you know, this the world that we live in is just so messed up. Mm. You know, people have so many problems and pressures, you know, yeah. when it comes to love or finance or work and family and you know, there, there's so many things that people go through. Uh, from day to day and like especially with my stand-up when they when they come to my show yeah. what I want them to do is to forget all that and when they watch yeah. my stuff on YouTube Diary of a Bad Man I want them to forget that I want them to laugh because when you're laughing all those problems that you have go disappear they go out the window even just for 10 seconds yeah that, well you've been successful saying that I think yeah I hope so yeah so yeah but that, that's what makes me that's what makes me tick what's in you are? Snakes. Yes. Snakes, huh? I know, like, not even that, just like snakes in general, innit? And not even in life. Yeah, yeah, just snakes. Because you know, when you're in the industry and when you hit a certain point where you've 
kind of achieved your your dreams and your goals yeah um, there's a lot of people that will try to bring you down there's a lot of people like that and um yeah it's very hard and the people will also use you for for what you are to other yeah, people yeah yeah it's um yeah it, 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 I don't want to get too deep, but yeah, snakes. Like deep. Snakes, huh? Like yeah, deep. Deep's cool, man. Yeah. yeah. But that's it. It's fun talking to you. Thank you so much for having me, man. Yeah, we, we should do that again, innit? Definitely. Yeah. When you're like big, like, big, I'm big. We're trying to say I'm not big. big. Uh, yeah. My man's quite big. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? When you're like. You've got eight pack and everything. When you're famous in every country. Yeah, 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 cool. Yeah, I want to break it. And Ethiopia. I get exclusive. Huh? And I get exclusive. Yeah, of course, man. But yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> Ethiopia is a country that I'm yeah. targeting. Ethiopia, I'm coming for you. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to get some views in Ethiopia. You That's should. my dream since I was a little kid. I was like, Ethiopia, Ethiopia. <laughs> gunshot, gunshot. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Rufi, and we've just had Hamza on the No Added Sugar Show. No way, that's crazy. You're very lucky, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ethiopia, <laughs> rap, rap. <laughs>